Paul, the presidential aspirant, where Isiago in political love with the Igbos. Shehu Sani reacted. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. A former lawmaker who represented the good people of Kaduna Central Senatorial District, Shehu Sani has taken to his official Twitter handle to make a controversial statement regarding the way some presidential aspirants dressed up in Ishago in order to show their support for the Igbos. While sharing on his official Twitter handle, the President of the Civil Rights Congress of Nigeria, Shehu Sani made it known that all the presidential aspirants are wearing Ishago in the name of showing political love for the Igbos. Well, in my own opinion, I think Shehu Sani made this statement regarding Buhari's visit to a Boeing state. It was reported that the President Muhammad Buhari on Thursday commenced a two days working visit to a Boeing state with the inauguration of project at King David University of Medical Science, Uburu. During this visitation, the President was soon wearing the Ishago outfit, which shows his love and support for the Igbos. Based on this note, Shehu Sani made it known that all the presidential aspirants will start wearing Ishago to show the love and support they have for the Igbos. <laughs> if you don't understand, though, if you don't understand, you're going to fall for it. This is sarcasm, pure sarcasm, nothing more, nothing less. That is just it. They are coming out. Wearing their whatever, showing the political love according to Shehu Sani. Meanwhile, they cannot show the political love to them. We should put their hands now. They should, I mean, they should do the needful, which is come out and say, you know what, everybody, let's zone this particular thing. Let's micro zone it to the southeastern region. Put on for waiting good. Come on for the one we know good. We stand one place. You know that you're here today and you're there tomorrow. Shehu Sani is really a very sarcastic, sarcastic person. Yet, it is in Mindedis, their judges, marginalization is never better defined. If Ishago can do the magic for the South, it let it be. I wonder why the issue of South is aspiration is generating a lot of concerns. Any father who favors any of his children is bound to cause disunity in his family. Exactly. You cannot treat these people like a slave. You cannot flog them and expect them not to cry. And you just buy, how am I going to, you're coming back. That child is no longer a baby. You're coming back and you're buying cho um, chocolate for it. It's not possible. You don't come and you tell this particular, this is why I behaved the way I did. You know, and before you know it, everything is fine. Salutation is never love. Action speaks volumes of everything. I agree with you. Ishago does not indicate love or support for egos. Thank you. When Namdekanu is still in detention. Whoa. Those who are saying that they're showing them love. How is this supposed to be love? And he disrespected an Igbo elderly statesman, Mbazurika Meiji, deliberately marginalized Igbo's in his cabinet and his deaf ears on, in on Igbo's torn rotative presidency. Igbo's are white people that cannot be deceived with wearing in shago. Hmm. Well, I have said my own no at the end of the day. It is not by coming out to let their actions and their words, let it tally, let it harmonize. Let us know that, oh, these people who are coming out to say it is for the Southeast, it is the Southeast that owns this one in the spirit of justice, equity, and fairness. They as well, they are going to, you know, they're going to come to the realization that it is not so. It is not so. That's just the truth. Because at the, at the end of the day, mm -hmm. even those, I'm even saying, you see those people who come online and they fight for their candidates, I'm telling you, those people, eh, I don't know, I just have this, I have this uh, feeling that they're not, they not even going to be there on a big cultural day, of course. I mean, we are not even, they're not going to be, only, they're not even going to support them on the election day. They're not going to support them on the election day. They're not going to come and show support. They're going to just be 
online supporters. That's what I meant. On the main day, on the D-Day now, which is 23 Frigo keeping us alive, these people you're seeing who are doing gymnasium, doing all sort of stunts, at the end of the day, they're not even going to be there. They won't come out one thing or the other. They are going to, they are going to you know, give this, this suggestion of, ah, after all, they already have their own, they have their own, uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, how do I put it now? After all, they have already done selection. That's their no normal national anthem during the election. Anybody who you ask, ah, you didn't go to vote, ah, those people, leave those people. They have already picked who they want to pick. They cannot go there and stand under the sun. Yes. That is why those who are political people, who are sincerely political, they'll come out and tell you that the Northerners play politics way better than the South. The Southerners are not, they're not online. No. You won't see them. Who, who wants to give them one? No. Everybody is going to be calm. Everybody is going to do everything they can. Everybody is going to be calm. But the thing is, come election day, let us ensure we come out in mass. And not just vote. You're not just coming out to vote. You're voting for the most competent person of all. We don't want to hear, and eh, this person is one of a lesser evil. No. We don't want to hear, this person is one of a lesser evil. It's not done. I mean, Nigeria she is not cause that every time you're going to be talking about this is one of a special evil, this is one of a special evil. I mean, of the lesser evil. Nobody cost, nobody cost us. You can actually come out and say this is one of the best can, um, competent candidates. Yes. Let us have something like that rather than, oh, this is one of his um, special uh, uh, evil. Okay. And another thing is, come to into the free. They have already made it. I don't know. They, there's a circulation. There's an information going around. If you know your polling booth is not close to the house, so that you're not going to come up with excuse. Ah, the my polling booth is in Abuja. My polling booth is in Lagos. My polling my police my polling booth is in Calabar. That was where I was. The last election. It is now high time for everybody to move down. To move down, go to an office. Tell them this is where I stay. This is where I would want you know. And they're going to assign you to that place. It is going to make your life easier for you. Yes. That's just it. They will come out and mass, you know, vote for the most competent person who will make things better for Nigeria. Whom we are going to we are going to look back and say yes. Let us not forget that if we miss this particular time, this election that is coming in front, huh, Nigeria is not going to remain the same, believe you me. On this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come here next time.